Come on guys, not serving milk and cookies here. Jared. Mark. Mark, I have a special mission for you. This needs to get across the hall to Mr. Stevens. ASAP. Do you know what ASAP means? Well, it means as fast as you can without running. Alright? Now roll. Ah! Get quiet, guys, please. I'm here. Alright, he's got the answer for number five. Numero cinco. Josh, just stretching, are ya? Bueller, Bueller. Come on, guys, we need to know this. What if a solar flare wipes out all your calculators? You don't want to end up in a cage, cursing the dirty apes. Do ya? What'd you get for number five, Cam? I got sick of homework. <laughs> so to be sick of, I do long division for fun. I'm up till three o'clock in the morning sometimes. That's what you tell your mom you're doing? Long division. <laughs> Marky Mark, you Mark, what you got for me? Hold on a second. Don't leave yet. Tell Mr. Kurtz I don't have a clue. Anytime you go soft on a kid like Cam, she'll walk all over you. You're lucky you only have her twice a week. Yeah, I just can't be yelling at her all the time. Put her in the hallway. It's where she sits in my class. You don't need 11-year-old friends, right? Wicked haircut. I'm here to help kids like Cam, not babysit a bunch of kiss asses. I love kiss asses. Yeah, where's the challenge in that? Man, you need to lighten up and wear a tie. Whoa, Bobby, chip inspector. I'm not Bobby. Well, I'm not the chip inspector. Do you have any idea how the public views teachers? You don't see Mrs. Hart running the choir or Mrs. Wood running three sports a year. No, they see the two of you. Mr. Kurtz, in the five years you've been here, you've never once volunteered for an extracurricular activity. You're aware of that, right? And Mr. Stevens. Oh, I know you've been here a very short time. But sandwich eating contests at lunch do not count. This is a collection of appropriate skits and one act plays to be used if need be. Now, while I'll be working with the younger grades in what will no doubt prove to be an adorable play about the coming of summer, from the senior grades, I'm looking for a tasteful and appropriately themed variety show for the year end. Now, as you are the teachers for these grades, it might be an idea if you volunteered to run the show. What do you think? Uh, Great. Thank you, boys. We're not the only ones that don't volunteer. When's the last time Mrs. Mano got off her fat ass? She runs a computer club. Mrs. Bennett? Ski trip. <sighs> You're all total losers. Look, I'm not getting dragged down with you on this one, Kurtz. They cut the rope and start swimming. What's that supposed to mean? No diving in the shallow end, Stevens.
Hey, Ken. So, what to say about me? Uh, oh, nothing. So, uh, what are you doing for the variety show? Nothing. You don't uh, play guitar or rap or anything? You don't juggle or make balloon animals, swallow fire, install drywall? Not funny. I'm not trying to be funny, Cam, I'm just... Yeah, you are. You're always telling crap jokes. So you think you know funny? I know crap. Do you know any jokes that aren't crap? Just thinking the show could use a stand-up act or something. So, how's the map coming there, Junior? Like donuts? Cam here loves donuts. Got a whole row of them this year. Let's think about it, Cam. Let's get it done, all right, Cam? You don't think this is a little intimidating? I want to make it seem like we're auditioning the kids. It's a cutthroat business. It's a school variety show. Don't. Try and sugarcoat it. Hello, Laura. What you got? Nothing less than the crown of England. That is an excellent discovery, Mr. Dr. Watson. Oh, no, 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 that's not. Sit. No, don't lie down. Sit. Who let her in the first one? You. I did not ask her. She walked away. So are you again? Yes. Why are you doing this? <laughs> are you kidding me? They're terrible. Carrie, Cara, whatever. Since she was taking lessons since she was five? Oh, what time do you pull funding on that disaster? Sorry, bud. Too late. We're shutting her down. Hang on. You got some jokes for us, Cam? Yeah. I'm gonna try to encourage her. Believe me, guy, that's the last thing this kid needs. Whenever you're ready, Cam. All right. <laughs> Mrs. Brown is teaching her class the alphabet. And so she asks for a word that starts with the letter A. And little Dirty Ernie puts up his hand. And Mrs. Brown can think of a few bad words that start with the letter A. So she picks Susie instead. And Susie says apple. Very good, now what about B? Again, little Dirty Ernie puts up his hand, and again, Mrs. Brown chooses someone else. Finally, she gets all the way through the alphabet to the letter R, and she can't think of any bad words. So she says, okay, Dirty Ernie, what starts with R? And little Dirty Ernie says rats. Big F and rats with dicks this big. <laughs> uh, Cam, do you know any jokes without swearing in them? I said effin. Or words that allude to swearing? Yeah, I think I got one. Okay, let's let's try that one instead. Alright. There's a crowd of whop and a jap on the edge of a cliff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that might not work so well either. Uh okay, there's obviously some funny stuff here, but you know, maybe the two of us should get together first and, you know, work on the jokes. Alright. We'll do it tomorrow? We can do lunch or something? Okay. I'm not sure about Letterman, but the kid has a future on Springer. Come on. What's brown and sticky? A stick? That's just stupid. I think it's funny. And we can use your piano joke as long as you turn this word to jerk. What about a-hole? Yeah, I know. Why do we even have fake blood? We had a knife fight. You're, you're killing me, Mitch. D do you know what I mean by that? You're killing me? I'm bugging you and you wish you were dead? Yes, exactly. No way. Come on, parents will dig it. Look, Ashley, honey,
tell Mr. Curtis I'm busy, okay? I saw this kid sitting on his front step with his cat. And so I asked him what his cat's name was. And he said, Ben, her. And I asked him why... Well, step away from the wall and, and do it again. Okay. I saw this kid sitting on his front step with his cat. Hey, could you uh, just move over to your left a bit, please, Ken? And uh, lower the mic as well. Here, let me get it for you. Oh, we're gonna have to lose the baby jokes. Uh, Miss McNeil isn't really down with the blender thing. Not funny, Josh. Neither is she. Is that what she's wearing? What happened to that sweet jacket? It's fine. Just start running the jokes, Cam. The snail walks in. Oh, hang on a second. You're gonna make her say these jokes? Why don't we send her out there in a dress? Would you shut up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let her go. One less thing to worry about. You understand that, right? No, oh, that's okay. It's good. I got it from here. It's one man job running everything. How old are you? No, how old are you? Walk. What are you doing, Cam? I'm going to look stupid up there. Mr. Kurtz knows it. Everybody does. What does Mr. Kurtz know? Hey, pick it up, Cam. I don't even get why you want me to do this. Because you're the only one who can pull it off. No, I'm not. You can get anyone to say this crap. Look, I'm not like Mr. Kurtz. I feel responsible when a student will do something she's good at. But if you go on thinking you're too cool for everything, I promise you'll end up spending the next six years of school sitting out in the hallway. And being out in the hallway cannot be cool for you, Cam. It just can't. Can I go now? Yeah, back to your desk in the hallway if that's what you want. So you're gonna do this, Cam? No way. Not happening. Why not? She had her chance. This kid hasn't been given a real chance since the first grade. She read material, right, kid? No way off bombs. She's up next. You okay, Cam? Hey, look at me. I'm gonna be okay. No problem. And now, the comedic stylings of Cam Brown. A snail walks into a bar and says to the bar and, and asks the bartender for a beer. And the bartender says, he says, we don't serve beer to snails and flicks the snail off the table. Later, the snail no. Sorry. The snail comes back a month later and says to the bartender, what'd you do that for? <laughs> I saw this kid sitting on his front step with his cat, and I asked him what his cat's name was, and he said, Ben-Hur. And I asked him why he named him that, and he said, well, we used to call him just Ben, until he had kittens. <laughs> this teacher started off her class one day by saying, whoever thinks they're not smart, please stand up. He says, Come on, Cam, pull it together. He, he, he's, he stands up and he... He says something. This is bull... I hate you. 
Sorry, folks. Uh, Cam had to uh, rush off to uh, entertain the troops overseas. Um, lots of show left. Uh, please sit tight. And, uh... That seems like an honest guy. He's on board. Doesn't smell like Uncle Jack, if you know what I mean. Cam wrote us some uh, apology letters. Listen. Mr. Kurtz, I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again, yada yada. It is amazing how different they sound once they've been suspended. That's a uh, nice work, Stevens. She's a, she's a good kid, she'll rebound. Or will she? I don't. I'm not sure. You know, what's important is how you feel. No, I'm. I'm good with it. It was my idea to have her in this show. Wait, that was your idea, wasn't it? Didn't I say she was a loose cannon? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I did. What's your say? The usual. Don't know about you, but I smell a sick day tomorrow.